Hi, viewers, and thank you for tuning in to my Rob blog. I've um, been doing this vlog now since so about the 4th of December. So what are we into the third month? Yeah, so that's it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, your views. And if you want to subscribe, it's just nice to have you uh, listen in or watch and uh, you know give kind of my view on the world and keeping you up to date on things that may be going on. And speaking of the world and things going on, I have to say, before I went to bed last night, I was watching the uh, news coming in on Ukraine, uh, and uh, very upsetting to say the least, uh, because some of the reports are saying this is the worst war in uh, Europe in decades. And, um, you know, once they perhaps, if, if the inevitable happens, Ukraine again becomes part of Russia, then Russia is going to start to go to the other Baltic states and, and whatnot. And this all sounds eerily familiar when you go back to 1939 and into the war years when Hitler started to expand and um, conquer all these countries. And uh, I read today that uh, the leader of Russia, I'm not even speaking his name, he said that if there's any uh, payback from any of the Western countries around the world, that he will be using atomic uh, nuclear um, devices in order for payback. So I think the whole world's stuck between a rock and a hard place, but uh, people are certainly saying, why aren't they just doing something about him? And, you know, they have all this fancy stuff that they can uh, follow someone's whereabouts from the sky with the radar and whatever else it is, laser. I don't know what they use, but they probably have a very good idea knowing where he is at all times. So who knows what's going to happen? Uh, seeing pictures earlier today of the people in Ukraine hiding out in basements and in their uh, subway uh, platforms. It was just terrible. The whole thing is terrible. This shouldn't be happening in 20. 22, you know, and Russia is not the only country in this world that does this kind of stuff, this oppression. China, I mean, I know, when do you buy something that isn't made in China? When can you? Where can you? And yet China is just as bad. China is just waiting there uh, on the uh, on the edge of their seat to, uh, to do something and to be all powerful. And you know what? Isn't communism great, ladies and gentlemen? Like three cheers for communism and what it tries to accomplish. It's not the way to live. It is not the way to live. So I hope things work out. I hope something happens uh, very soon that uh, that ends this all-out war. And uh, it can only get worse if, if something doesn't happen soon. It's like those trucker protests in Ottawa. We should have done something sooner, I think. I don't have many complaints about how things were handled, except I wish that uh, Prime Minister Trudeau had have done something a little bit sooner as far as... Uh, getting the truckers under there. Let them have their first weekend, okay? They made their point, bye, we respect your point. We're thinking about it, we'll talk about it. Now go home. And they let it go on for three weeks or more. So I, I think it's the same thing in this situation. But, you know, people are a little afraid of what, may, I shouldn't say people, the heads of countries are a little afraid of what may happen if there's some retaliation done to help uh, the, the people of Ukraine right now. It's, it's very sad, isn't it? So enough of that right now. Um, it's a, you know, world, uh, our world, we have this climate change problem, and it's been coming on for years and, and uh, more prevalent now when you look at the weather even here on Vancouver Island and the West Coast here in the last year with extreme, extreme heat into the 40 Celsius, then all that rain, and then we had that week of snow and severe cold weather during the Christmas holidays and just after. after. And now it's, it's all part of global warming. And now the latest... Um, uh, thing that has happened with global warming, the latest result is that beautiful flower pot rock in New Brunswick that I'm sure you have seen pictures of for years and years. When the tide is in, that rock formation looks like a big flower pot and there is a pine tree and another tree growing out at the top of it. Well, that rock fell with the waves, the tides and whatnot. Um, it just was more uh, more uh, bad weather and more weather changes, more global weather changes, that that uh, flower pot fell. And it's no longer a, uh, a, a tourist spot to be looked at. There's a little bit of, uh, of a, a low area of rocks about this big, just a little stub left of rocks, and the rest of it is all gone into the ocean, the trees included that were on top of the flower pot rock. So more changes in our world. Let's hope everything works out very well. Keep our fingers crossed. Send some 
powerful, positive energy to the people in the Ukraine. And let's hope that somebody can come up with some kind of idea to uh, get back to peace. And I'm not even sure peace talks work. Uh, and I have to say, the final thing I'll say, I was watching the, uh, the ministers uh, at uh, the UN last night talk. And you know, I don't know. It just seems like so much talk. Yes, we all know it. But I guess they have to go on record saying, we don't like this. And that's what they all did. And then there's NATO. Will NATO do anything? Can they do anything? I don't know. Let's just hope that our world stays safe and that we can come to a fast conclusion of all these terrible problems going on in Europe right now with the Ukraine. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening today, for tuning in to my blog. Uh, remember, love and joy is all around for this year of 2 ought two, 2 And we've only just nicely got started and look at where the world is already. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time right here on this Rob Blog. Bye for now.